Joining me is Jackie D. She is the co-founder of Everything TV, and she's the founder of Every Rea Thing T uh, School. And she's here today to talk about her roles, her many roles, and how she maintains a healthy lifestyle. Welcome to the show, Jackie. Well, thank you for having me, Christine. Okay. It's lovely being here. <laughs> oh. And we're here at BCIG Broadcast Center, and uh, I'm excited to have you on the show. So where did the name come from? Well, every Rhea thing comes from, as you can see, Rhea, that's the center. That's the main focus of the name. Because when we started the show, we wanted it to be about so many things. But because at that time when we started the show, Rhea was the host. Mm. And uh, so we wanted to make sure that it still was sort of her show because it was offered to her as a show. They wanted her to initially have a uh, some sort of a variety show where she would sing for 30 minutes and guess some people who would sing. And she goes like, no, mom, I sing once and that's it. Everybody will already be like, okay, enough. So <laughs> she said, I want it to be a platform to feature the young. So we still kept the name every I think to this day. Yeah. yeah, so you interview, you cover events, you interview celebrities, and, and how does it make you feel to, uh, you know, that you're inspiring others? You know, I was always thinking that if you, it's a blessing to have some skills, some talent, some resources, right? But once you actually start doing something good, that's when you feel that it's really rewarding and that you have a legacy. Because that was really our intention at the start. Like, we wanted to have a platform where we can recognize people who normally wouldn't be seen. Mm -hmm. That was the initial plan. And eventually we got people who are uh, known like celebrities and then we would cover events you're right we support a lot of causes because we want to make sure that we have social awareness at all times mm -hmm. and that's what we want to spread like use your talent for the good of the community and mm -hmm. for others like um, Variety Club um, yes the awards Amanda Todd legacy is one of our beneficiaries uh, uh, when we have uh, projects, Looking Glass Foundation mm -hmm. and uh, Anxiety BC. So mental health is at the forefront of our advocacies. And that's why we try to be healthy, yes. healthy mind, healthy body, yes. like you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, how do you maintain your stamina? Well, many people <laughs> always ask me, what did you have? Because I'm having that. <laughs> I, go, I honestly have no idea. I think, well, I think it's the fact that I work with a lot of young people and um, and that's why I stay youthful when it comes to my plans and you know um, I think it keeps me focused on the energy that's within and I have so much passion for so many things and for me time is very valuable I'm like my doctor said I have ADHD in a positive way because I can't stop doing things <laughs> and I think the exercise and I eat well the entire family eats well we started to adopt a healthy lifestyle since 2018. Wonderful. So that's good. Other, prior to that, we weren't really, really healthy. So <laughs> I'm very happy about now. Yes, and tell us a typical day for you. For me? Okay, well, I, I have a nine to five job. Aside from that, I you know, you're a mom, you have a family to take care of, we have a dog. And uh, before or after work, I'm definitely working on every other thing. I partly manage Ria's uh, singing career, but she's an adult now, so she mostly does her meetings and all that stuff. But yeah, I, I wake up very early, like 5, 5.30. I sleep at like 2 in the morning sometimes, so <laughs> I can go on. I can have an, a, a very dynamic day with three hours of sleep, sometimes two days without sleep. So I don't know where I'm getting my energy, but I do drink coffee without sugar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think it's the passion. It's the one that inspires me, that drives me. Like, I gotta get this going, because tomorrow there'll be something different to do. It's always like, I always have a timetable. That's, that's my secret. That's wonderful. So that's your secret ingredient. Yes, you have to have that passion in you. Yes. Inspiration, that's the best. It's priceless. Everything else follows. Yeah. Yeah. And Jack, you have a background in performing arts, so tell yes. us about that. Oh my gosh, yes, I love that. That's my most, I think that's my secret too because I've always, I'm always an artist and I really don't talk about that um, because, you know, you want to put in the four, you, you know, you want to focus on the show, the guests, the host. So I'm just behind writing scripts, but I took dance since I was four. I studied my piano lessons since I was four and, um, and I learned to act. I took acting lessons. As I grew older, 
I focused more on drama, on acting, and public speaking. So I was an orator in my time. I would uh, do debates. I would do public speaking. Mm -hmm. I would host here and there. I was an MC. So um, I was everywhere. I I was in the spotlight, <laughs> and uh, my directors, I worked with really, really good directors in cinema, and they know that I would always look for the spotlight. They're going to go like, okay, your role is supposed to be in the dark, so please move a little <laughs> bit. But I wanted the spotlight. So, so that's why until now, I carried that, and I c when I, we came to Canada in 2001, I made sure that well, my first job was teaching creative arts mm -hmm. and dance through Kinder Dance International. And then in 2008, I created my first musical theater art school. Mm -hmm. And Rhea was in my class. She was eight years old. She was wow. my first student. That's yeah. wonderful. Yes. I mean, tell us about the school. The Everything School or the first school? Well, Everything School? Everything School is a it's like an offshoot of everything TV because as Rhea began to focus on her music career, we needed hosts. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm too old to host. <laughs> Although once in a while I host now, right? I said, I'm too old to host. I need young ones. And so that's when we started mentoring. I started mentoring one one on one. And then eventually I thought, you know what, there could be other young people or even adults who might actually want to host. Mm -hmm. And I don't want them to think that we're limiting it to this group just because I've guested them or things like that. And that's why I go, okay, I'm going to open the workshop. It's very young. We have a few students here and there, but it's very young. we got to start somewhere, right? And I'm very, very happy because now that we have the school and they're really interested to do that, there is a way for them to apply what they learn because there's everything TV. So I have to keep both running. Mm -hmm. Now I have a platform for them to practice and, okay, let's see what you've got. Go live, go Leo Wives, go to this event. That's wonderful. And I know. So, so tell us about the upcoming workshop. Oh, yes, and I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I looked you up. <laughs> We're just so happy to have you as our guest mentor. Mm -hmm. And that's why, because it's very new, you know, w although I'm the moderator, I want to make sure that we have people who are very experienced in the field. And because you're a TV host, you're a producer, I couldn't think of anyone better than you, more equipped. Mm -hmm. To be the, you're the very first mentor we're going to have in the workshop. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We're so excited to <laughs> have you. Too. Oh my gosh, they're all going to learn a lot from you. <laughs> and I'm so glad for you. Thank you for accepting that. Yes, and when will it be? February 15th, mm -hmm. 1 to 4. Oops. And that's uh, at the dance studio. They sponsor our filmings. And so thanks very much, Mission Chung. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's our sponsor. So we're going to hold that there, 1 to 4. And of course, we're going to teach hosting, public speaking, and I also incorporate in our classes self-esteem mm. because we got to break down the social, social media myth where you think these people set the standards. No, you set your standard. So I want to make sure everyone thinks that they are enough. You don't have to be like someone else. That's mm -hmm. part of our curriculum. And it's believing in yourself despite others may not Yes. And that's where it is. And Jack, you have such a passion for the arts and health. And so any more information if people want, where can they go? Well, I'm on LinkedIn <laughs> <laughs> also. Of course, Facebook and oh, uh, So I'm on LinkedIn and then we're very active. Like you know, right now I'm very active on everything. Back in the day it was Rhea. But because of the school, I have to really be visible. So you can find us there. We have our website, everything. Yes dot com and uh, definitely look us up on uh, Instagram okay and uh, they can always contact us through the social media platforms or our email address is everything at gmail.com so pretty easy to remember pretty easy. <laughs> or you can find Christine yes. <laughs> and she look for me yes <laughs> <laughs> um, Jackie thank you very much for coming on the show my pleasure and we love you to come back I would love to and we're looking forward to having you. I'm excited. Oh my God, I'm guessing you. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Sports and media. Yes. Ah, perfect team. Thank you. Yes. And we'll be right back after this break. <laughs>